Hello family and thank you for coming back to our channel Deb Chanel's 48's World Hosting with the Family Affair Yes, that's your guys, honey I can't be anything without you and y'all can't be anything without me We're hooked together like a little buggy in a tree Okay, but anyway We're gonna go on and get into Miss Candy Burr's recap review of her speak on it That aired on March 9th, okay 2020 all right i ain't got nothing too much to say y'all but she pretty much did that tonight she was really on point i have to give it to her because i've been doing a few or several of her uh speak on it doing my own commentary of what i felt about it and you know i always have my more so lows for her than highs but i am pleasantly surprised today she spoke like a true woman she stood in her stuff and she just let it be what it was you know what i'm saying she even gave accolades or i won't say praises because i don't like that word unless you're talking about the lord but just give good commentary on some of her colleagues or really all of her colleagues uh on this show yes honey but i would like for candy to definitely stay out of people's marriages because honey you think you be helping them and you go get them some advice do this that and the third honey they'll turn on you like no other none other okay and it's good that from what you say then you don't have a lot of friends because you don't need a lot of friends honey you got to watch the ones you call your friends because they could become your enemies okay that's why they get the word frenemies you know what i'm saying so if you got more than 10 friends you hang out with them already too many okay you don't need to have but one hand one hand I mean five or less on your finger that you call friends or a friend that's gonna sit there and lay down their life for you all okay do y'all have one of them kind of friends okay well that's the kind of friends that i'm talking about <clears throat> and usually you get them earlier on in life or later on in life but you don't have a lot of people that's what you call entourage how can it be trying to float around there and this that and the third because hell some of your family members can be your friends you know what i'm saying hush elijah Okay, we're going to close him out for a little bit. Hopefully, y'all can't hear him as much. But, yes, I was just pleasantly surprised on her speak on it for tonight. I was like, okay, girl, okay, I, I can get with you, and you're not giving me a headache and all that good things. So, let's go on into it, all right? But she broke some things down uh, that I'm going to bring out, and then we're going to move on about our business because, like I said, only violation that was there. And shout out to Layla Lee or Layla Ali or something like that. Layla Lynn, I think it is. A Layla Lynn. Check out her channel. I bought one of her pictures with her logo on it. So, got to throw out some uh, shout out. Okay. But anyway, um, yeah. That was my first uh, plea to Candace. Just stay out of married people business. Just go on and listen as much as you can. And listen, listen, listen. Be a shoulder for them to cry on. But don't get no advice, honey. Don't get no advice. Because if they take your advice and it be the wrong thing, they'll throw it back up in your face. Okay? I've witnessed that before. All right. Anyway, moving on from there. Um, when you were speak, um, in your speak on a session, you was talking about uh, going back to the episode that aired last, uh, this previous Sunday, yesterday meaning um sunday the 8th you said that um you didn't want anybody to harass kenya about what was going on in social media we should like downplay it i'm like can you had no right to tell people that okay that's just like telling you don't do speak on it anymore are you gonna listen to us or are you gonna continue to toe that line and continue to do you because you like it okay that's the same kind of adage we feel when people try to tell us don't do certain things okay especially when you're trying to uh check up for somebody that really don't have much to be taken up for okay she's gonna be her own demise and we're talking about kenya Moore, okay if she don't straighten up and fly right okay it's no sense of her having all of this whoo rottenness in her for lack of a better word she really need to have counseling because even if a lot of people i've heard and 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 been in conversations uh 
<clears throat> with the family of course over here at family affair and just just people in general that watch the show you know they they know kenya is her you know and if she wants to continue to say she's just playing a role she's playing a villain and this that and third or people just see her as the villain but she really got it together no kenya don't have it together okay and it goes back from her childhood and she really needs to take some time off or take some time doing the um episode when she's taping not putting it on tv or none of that you know don't do don't do that keep some things for yourself okay and go see counseling not just for the sake of trying to keep her marriage but for her to keep her sanity you know what i'm saying because it seems like she won't let go that fairy tale wedding or marriage and and how are you supposed to have this um american dream of the perfect house the perfect family the perfect dog or cat the perfect car you know all that stuff there is no perfect that's fictitious that's what somebody told us we should gear and hope for but we got to make our own successes we got to make our own uh way out there in the sense of what makes us happy you know what i'm saying so yeah candid uh Kenya needs help and that's what you should be asking her on the platform that you and her both work on you should tell her she needs to go and get therapy for herself okay and then we can think about repairing her marriage if that's even in the cause to be um, dealt out for her uh, most people don't think so me I'm thinking it's a contractual agreement coming to an end she just need to face it and move on but others you know say different okay then you're picking at Nene when you're saying that you don't really believe those are her true bred and and, and raised friends okay tried and true friendships uh, uh the ladies of success well my thing is candy we can say the same about some of your friends as well, you know, and you can come up with a lot of excuses of why they are your friend, this, that, and the third, because like I said, you should have at least a couple. You shouldn't have several. Everybody shouldn't, several people shouldn't know your business, because it's enough that your family know your business, and they don't told people, meaning truly the whole world know your business. They just saving face for you by not putting it out there or selling the story to social media okay but um let nene have her play play friends or whoever she deems as a friend because i'm pretty sure greg is her only true friend and uh we know why he's there because he can't go nowhere else and he's her tried and true okay she, he's been tested he done been t put through the fire she done left him she done came back to him and he's just like a little doorknob for her all right but if she wants to have uh as you say fake friends fictitious friends friends she don't went and bought and paid for let her go on and have that we don't need to serve that up as a little negative point if she don't have friends because she do she just when you get older you don't have a lot of friends you want to be around you know because you start to see through some of their ways they are not always genuine i mean how many friends do your mother have or does she have more family member friends than she do friends friends outside of the family you see where i'm going with this candid okay then we move on to where you definitely gave nice compliments for portia and tanya i was surprised but i was like oh okay she is bearing the hatchet somewhat here and there between her and portia all right and at dungeon gate we were uh privy to but I was glad that you said something nice about them. That uh, Portia came to play and turn up and have a good old time. And then you even said something nice about Tanya. Uh, that she is a good, true spirit player. And, and she wants to have fun. And, and you like her and all that. I thought, okay, I did sense and saw some sincerity in your voice as well as in your facial expression so that was very nice of you to say continue to go down that road candy and it might be some light being brought back into you but you know like i said it is what it is you're gonna learn you're gonna live and you know things will be shown to you at a later date okay and then we got um Okay, I was very pleasantly surprised and I was so glad you were a true trooper friend. You sat there and got in Kenya's ass the most professionalist, the most um, 
I don't even know if that's a word professional is. It's not. I just made it. Let's just keep going with it. But you were very in tune with her feelings. But you were letting her know that that was not acceptable behavior. You even acknowledged that she had snubbed. Meaning disregarded anything Nene was saying to her of value. Okay. You saw that Nene was coming from a sincere place. A willing place to communicate openly with her. And Kenya was just farting shitting on her you know what i'm saying and you were like no girl don't do that don't do that and i was like all right okay okay and you didn't back down you was like look this woman has come a long way she has done nothing but said everything nice to you but yet you took that and shit it on her now i think you need to go make it right you know those were her exact words but it was pretty much saying the same uh, thing and it had the same, same tonation to it. Get this shit together. Okay, you're going through a lot. I know you're going through a lot, but guess what? You're not the only person that has been through this and you never will be the last person either. Okay, but this woman is trying. She, she, she definitely has come off her high horse. She's meeting you with real feelings and the best you could do is this shit. No, you need to go in there I ain't going to say apologize, but I think you need to go and have a conversation with her and do it nicely. I'm like, okay, Candy, girl. All right, all right. And, you know, Kenya said she was going to do it, took the dessert, and did something else. She didn't do shit what Candy told her to do. And see, that's just why I say I ain't going to get too much on Kenya because I'm still a little upset. And we don't want to go in there and just put this whole video of bleepers, bloopers, ble you know, bleeping out cuss words and stuff. Because I tell you. Kenya sold herself straight up to the devil and she's going to bust hell wide open if she don't change her ways. And she's going to be very detrimental to her child as well. Because uh, a child look at their parents for clarification and for edification and and to idol, not idolize them but to mimic them in every sense of the word. Okay? Taking on their own personality. And we don't want baby Brooklyn growing up nothing like her mama or how her mama shows herself on this platform that she's on and getting paid well for it okay um but yeah candy acknowledged that can you had thank everybody in the toilet commode uh for their sincerity for their uh words of encouragement but she left nini out there like you leave trash out for the uh man, the garbage people to come pick up. That's what she had did, Nene. And I was like, okay, Candy, what you gonna say about that? And she tore up in Kenya about it, did it very nicely, and I was very, 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 very um. Uh, I was surprised, but yet I was uh, thankful that she did that. I was like, okay, now you must be listening to some of your viewers telling you stop taking Kenya's side, okay. You can have a side with Kenya, but you let her know that what she did was just pure messed up in all ways, okay? <clears throat> so, um, yeah. And then, um, you did acknowledge that Nene was trying to talk to her. And Kenya was, uh, well, Cynthia called herself, uh, saying she's going to go wash dishes. She wants everybody else to come with her. Besides Nene and Kenya, she wants them to fall back, stay back, enjoy each other's company. And have a little conversation amongst the two. Honey, Kenya jumped up so fast. I'm like, uh-uh, I ain't staying with her. I don't have nothing to say. Not tonight. Okay, that was the second snub. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. Kenya's playing all day, every day in the mean girl spirit. And if she keep on down this line, Chai, haven't you heard of Mommy Dearest? You heard of Mommy Dearest? That's all I got to say, girl. She didn't play too many more parts after playing Mommy Dearest, okay? That's all I'm going to say, girl. Hollywood threw her up, threw her away, and didn't look back at her. Kenya, that seems to be the path that you're traveling on, my dear. That seems to be the path that you are traveling on. So, Kenya, and um, Cynthia, they kind of had little words with her about that. That, that, that. that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool at all, especially when Nene didn't necessarily want to sit and talk with her anyway. It was more so Cynthia. Uh, coming to Nene to say if you have any more of those olive branches can you throw one more at Kenya because I think you would be a positive asset um, to talk with her about what she's going through maybe she will open up to you 
uh, about some things, or maybe not, but just the thought that you're talking and communicating her, communicating with her warmly and human, humanly, uh, maybe that'll be something better that you all could uh, build on if it is to be a cordial relationship, if that's all y'all have with one another. And I was there for it. I didn't think it was the appropriate time. Maybe they should have had a little bit more scenes in Greece before we have this meet and greet. And not once they land in Greece in their very first night with the dinner. I don't think that was appropriate. But, you know, y'all got to get y'all filming time in however y'all can get it in, okay? Um, and that was pretty much it. Um... It was nice, sweet, and to the point. Uh, Candy wasn't indulging in a lot of fuckery about what Ken had said. You know, she did make a very good point. And <clears throat> when we as YouTube content creators or people like her on a major, major platform, people don't want to see a good PSAs, personal service announcements. They don't necessarily, I'll say 90, to be fair, 93% don't want to see uh people talk about good things and, and, and motivational things on a routine basis you know they like get they feel on sunday service time or saturday service time or you know they have it where they listen to motivational speaking um through visual or through their audio tapes or whatnot and then they don't got their feel other than that when they want to do quality time or they feel quality time they want to indulge in some mess okay they want to indulge in some drama that sells just like sex okay and how they make these women out here look and you know gyrate around and little or nothing that leads to imagination uh to think of something is there because you're already being shown what's there. It leaves nothing to the imagination here or there when it comes to modern clothing and, and just anything. They use sex to sell. You could be trying to buy a car and they'll have some woman in a skimpy outfit, sunroof down and everything else saying, buy me, you know. <coughs> but um, this is what it is. But she was right. Um, people don't want to run and be steadfast to hearing, you know, the good news of the Lord or just motivational things of people out there doing good acts, good Samaritan type acts. They don't want it. And, and, and you're not going to watch it. Not everybody. So I'm not generalizing. I'm just saying probably 93% of the population. The other population, they want drum, 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 drum. They want nonsense, 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 nonsense. They want something that they can get hyped up about seeing. And I don't know what it is. Just seeing somebody else's... Uh, life play out on screen somewhat and it's for the negative I, I don't know why our society has gotten so backwards to where we like pain and selfishness and drama and all this other stuff versus stuff that's good wholesome and um things that's going to take us much further so we as content creators got to get a lot better including myself you know but i'm used to you know calling a spade a spade you know if i have to walk into a certain line then I feel everybody else should toe and walk the same line as well, you know, especially if they're going to be around me. But that's all I have for Candy Bird Speak on it that aired tonight, March 9th. Uh, my central, uh, my Eastern Standard Time Zone, which she's in the same time zone as she's here doing her taping. And I have noticed they, they, they don't do their own production. They got um, producers on the show giving them their footage and everything and making it look a lot more professional. I so I knew they were going to take that from Candy being out, you know, just in her room doing her own little thing. And they really need to take Nene's because hers is a mess. I tried to um, do some commentary on her stuff, but hers was just everywhere. She really need uh, production to help her as well from Bravo. But that's all I got. Y'all get down in them comments. Subscribe to our channel. Share and like my videos. And of course I'll see y'all next time for another video. See you later.